Governor Roy Cooper is declaring a state of emergency in Sampson and Duplin counties in response to this flooding. Now to your site's Claire Curry has more from a farmer in Keenansville on the last state impacts it will have for them. 25 acres of crops and livestock now underwater. Rarely ever do we see flooding to this magnitude this time of the year. We were not expecting this. Adam Graney, a farmer for Dark Branch Farms, says that Sunday they didn't receive much rain, but the Northeast Cape Fear River brought water overflowing into the community. What we're looking at is the rising waters from, from Sunday. That Monday we were in actually in good shape. This water rose up yesterday and last night and this morning. Causing the farm to likely lose a decent amount of forages that was planted for cattle this winter. But his top priority was taking care of the animals. Now, the biggest problem is we've had to move cows this morning to get them out of imminent danger from the rising waters. The temporary executive order allows farmers to transport feed, fuel, and other critical needs for the next 30 days, waiving the weight limit and hours of operation for drivers. Currently, Grady's cattle are placed on dry land on their property, but they may need to move further if the water doesn't start to recede. We may have to move some cattle out of out of this area to some higher ground where we get on the, you know, have to load them up, um, truck them down the highway to get them out of here. While carrying material and livestock, farmers are required to show the executive order or other documentation if requested by law enforcement. In Keenansville, Claire Curry, nine on your side.